a minute, ride on I got this, let it roll like a night storm Forever winning, don't you ever get in my way Cause otherwise I'm gonna rise up in your face You know, Robin is Father Ryan soccer If you mention soccer in Middle Tennessee uh, you know, his name is involved in anything. It was kind of like the gold standard to be able to play for Coach Dietrich. He's what you would call a professional coach. I would say he's kind of a godfather of Tennessee soccer. He pushes you to be the best version of yourself. He can inspire people, you know, uh, whether they think they're inspirable or not. He had the ability to make us all better soccer players, but it was really making us better people. There was just something about playing soccer at Ryan. Let's go, let's go. It's football time in Tennessee. In those years, we didn't really have soccer goals. We had four by fours with some camouflage netting that we put up. Crossbar sagged. Yeah. We had quite a hodgepodge of players, you know, guys that you wouldn't have brought together. You know, a lot of us, you know, lived on different parts of town, a lot of us had different interests, but all of a sudden, all these guys come together. John and I were like these little giddy kids, you know, um, talking to this guy who's gonna come back and save the Father Ryan soccer program, Robin Dietrich, and he, and he did. Robin was, uh, he was far and away the best goalkeeper in the state. I can remember playing and he would be in the goal, you know, just shouting encouragement, making sure that people were in the right position. So he really led by example. The camaraderie that was forged uh, way back then, it's it's still there today. Just a very tight knit group of kids having a great time together. He taught him at a young age how to play for the name on the jersey, the Irish, and, and that was important to him. Being able to teach and reach students in the classroom translates to the field. <laughs> our best coaches are our best teachers. So he's got a formula that he follows, and this formula has been successful for him. So he continues to follow this formula. The most important thing is that everyone like does their part. And I think that's like why all the teams that he's coached in the past has been so su like successful. He allows the kids to be themselves on the field. Their personalities come out through their play. And he loves those kids and he shows it and, they, and the kids pick up on it and they know it. When we were down, he kind of, you know, let us know we weren't as down as we were. And when we were up, he let us know we weren't as up as we were. Maybe we weren't the best team, but I think certainly we've always been the best coach team. Don't let her go behind you. It's very proud to look back and know that I played here, my brother played here, my boys played here. Um, and for that long history of time to see that, that's, uh, and, and to see it continue on. I mean, it's just the robinness of Robin. <laughs> Dietrich. It's like, sub, D. D. Dietrich. Like, hey, Coach D, what's up? When they say, yeah, hey, D, what's up? It's a, it's just a respect thing. Sort of like a nickname, like you give to your friends and everything. It's just, it's just fitting for him. And it's not that we don't respect him or anything. But that's the opposite. We respect him like so much as a friend, as a leader. He loves to dab. I'll see him in the hallway, and he just straight just I'm like, okay. It's just Dietrich, I guess. <laughs> On and off the field, like he's such a good guy that, you know, aside from yourself and the other guys on the team, like you want to win for him. To, uh, to maintain uh, his, uh, you know, calm in the, in the eye of the storm, so to speak, he, he really manages those kids very well. He's got to hold his hands in front of his face. For whatever reason, D always stayed level, and like we looked at him on that, and he would, no matter what the situation was, he looked at D and he's, you know, sitting like this on the sideline. Maybe yelling, do this and do that. One of you make a near post run! And it, would, it would keep us all calm. I'm not always calm. Um, I, I wish I were more calm. Yeah. When he gets upset, and you know, because we're all human, you'll know. However compassionate and like amiable D is as a person, it's so scary to see him like upset. You could always tell because his hands go up and then his hands come down. If he looked over, he threw his hands up and turned around, he knew he'd mess up really bad. Whenever he's in his maddest form that I've ever seen him, he claps his hands really, really loud. So anybody who's, who's played for Dietrich knows about that clap. Uh, I've been yelled at a few times, which surprised me because he does see, at least to me, he came across as pretty even keel and, and laid back most of the time. But there was no question if you were 
on the bad side. That was not a sight I like to see a bunch because it usually involved running, a lot of running. Kind of knowing when to hold back and knowing when to push hard, that's probably one of the keys to success. The amazing thing to me about Father Ryan's success is that Dietrich does it with the boys and the girls. I have no idea how he coaches girls and coaches boys, both really with, with equal success. I would assume a lot of patience, a lot of patience. The good thing about coaching girls is that you always know how they feel, and the difficult thing about coaching girls is that you always know how they feel. Guys are just kind of like, whatever, <laughs> you know, we'll do, we'll, we'll run if you say we're gonna run. You treat the boys like the girls and the girls like the boys, it's not gonna work out. The 08 team, the 12 team, the 16 team, it's just been the girls gutting it out. I think what made State 08 so special is we were not supposed to win. We played Baylor, who was ranked fourth in the country. They were undefeated, unstoppable, and we were not. We were very stoppable. But it was just one of those games that things worked. It was magical. And we went out there and we beat them 2-0. A girl who had been injured all season come and play and score a goal and she just had a phenomenal game. We came out and fought a heart game the next day too and won 1-0. Well it gives Father Ryan an opportunity to set themselves. One of these games that was just an epic game and back and forth. Here's a chance. It was one to one at the end of regulation. I remember Luke Strabel getting this penalty kick from nearly midfield. It's about a 35 or 40 yard kick where the penalty was. I turned away like I couldn't look and I started praying. Luke, good kick. Team put it in there strong, put it on frame, and everybody crashes the goal. And it's in. Ball goes in. It's the Ryan State Champions. Father Ryan is the state champion. I wasn't even expecting it. I just kind of stared it in, hoping my guys get ahead on it like they always do. And uh, just floated right in. I don't know. I still don't know how it happened. But to see the joy in our kids running on the field. It never gets old. There's Robin just kind of, you know, smiling from ear to ear. Is a, a genuine and sincere joy for the athletes who just won the championship. I mean, it, it's one of the highlights of my years of coaching, being winning a state championship the way we did against NBA uh, and having my son a part of all that was just awesome. I think one of the things that makes him such a good coach and such a great person, and he demands greatness from you every single day, whether it's in the classroom, on the field, as a person, every single day, he doesn't give you a day off. He always expects you and holds you to the highest standards. Just one of the things that makes him so successful in the, in the people within the program. He taught us, one, like character, and who we are on the field and off the field and how we carry ourselves. You look over to the sideline and there's always something that kind of helps you push through that last and give it that little bit of the tank you have left. But Coach Dietrich really taught me how to be the person I am today. You could call up three, three or 4,000 players and they would all come in here and do this. He means a lot, um, whether he believes it or not. Here at Father Ryan, here in Tennessee, uh, and, you know, I mean, look at his son, what he's done, and that's all Robin. When you see him on the sideline, you see him in the classroom, he's um, focused on his students, focused on his players, and trying to develop them as young men and young women. He kind of taught us how to be good young men. Uh, and trust me, that group needed it, myself included. Robin just is good at making them feel like they're, sorry, like they're important. and. Even if they are sitting on the bench, they're still a part of the team and they're important. But he was there for him, and, and uh, I want to thank him for that. He was just really good to my boys. Teamwork, head first, with my feet in the dirt, extreme thirst, fit a surge of adrenaline burst, my knees hurt, please nurse, let the medicine work. You know, how many state championships does he have? But how many players are willing to come back and talk to about him? I think that's speaks volumes as well. That he's incredibly competent, he's, a, he's incredibly organized, and he, and he takes it seriously. Our leader has always been Coach Dietrich, not that player that's very good, and not the, not the captain of the teams, uh, per se. It's been Coach Dietrich. Long after we're both dead and gone, people are still gonna 
associate Robin Dietrich with Ryan Soccer. I was with my best friends playing the best sport with a great mentor and it just meant the world to me. The time that he has just committed to Father Ryan and to its soccer program. One of the most wonderful gifts anyone could ever give to any program or any community.